Looking like here. Not bad. Hey, Andre. Um, hey. Long time no see. What's going on? Um, they obviously were hacking you down the stretch intentionally. And once upon a time, you would have missed some of those free throws. Can you, A, talk about what type of work you put in to become a better free throw shooter and B, what it's like to come out on the other side and make those free throws when they're intentionally hacking you? It's confidence. Confidence. Uh, I've worked on it for as long as I can remember. You know, throughout the years of my career, just worked at it and just building that confidence to when that time does come, being able to knock it down. Is there any, I guess, more pride for you beating the team that you used to play for? Yeah, of course. That was that was for Casey for sure. That's my guy, but uh, you know, I had to make those for him. <laughs> was he the one you were looking at? It seemed like after they fouled you the first time, you shot a look toward the bench. Yeah, that was at him for sure. <laughs> no words were said. No, nah, no words. No words. It's never personal, you know. At the end of the day, that's uh, one of my favorite coaches I played for. So uh, it's all fun and games. And what, what do you think the biggest difference was for you guys defensively in the second half? Just intensity. Intensity. Uh, we didn't allow them to get comfortable. We played a game we know we're supposed to play, and we came out on top. You guys were down double digits in the second quarter. Uh, what was the mindset at that time going into halftime? Uh, I think we just knew, we knew what we needed to do. Uh, we allowed them to get a rhythm early in the game. And, you know, we came and watched film at halftime. We knew uh, who was our hot guy, and we, we knew who we needed to take out of the game. And we made the right plays throughout the rest of the game. Uh, you talked about the difference in the defense from first half to second half. What do you guys have to do to kind of have a little bit more consistency on that end? And does that have to be, at this point, kind of almost player-led? Yeah, you know, that's something that we have to work on. We can uh, – hang our hat on the second half. We got to play a complete game like that because uh, it's not going to always be that easy to, uh, you know, make that turnaround against great teams. Not that the Pistons aren't a great team. Um, you know, they played a hell of a game and we just turned it up in that second half and we can't, uh, we can't play like that. We got to do that throughout the whole game. Andre, having played with KD for a little bit now, what makes him special as a teammate? Not necessarily playing with during games for practices off the court, those kind of moments that a team has. I think just knowledge of the game and knowing, you know, when to make certain plays, who to get the ball to, uh, when he's trapped, he knows where to pass the ball and he's seven foot and can shoot over anybody. So it's always fun to have a guy that can get his own shot at any given time. Just another question about the, obviously a very high scoring game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Does it matter to you guys? if that's the way you win or is it kind of disappointing even though you want to give up 123 points? That's a good question. Um, I don't think it's ever good for a team to score that many points in a basketball game. Uh, I think for us, like I said earlier, it's just buckling down defensively from the beginning of the game and not waiting to the second half because it can come bite us in the butt and we won't be able to come back.